Australia bat through third day to lead South Africa by 402 runs. Steve Smith failure did nothing to slow Australia's march toward expected victory in the first test against South Africa as the tourists batted through the entire third day on Saturday to build an imposing lead of 402 runs. Smith was out for 38 LBW to part-time spin bowler Dan Elgar. The first time in six test innings that the Australia's captain hasn't passed 50. But 53 from opener Cameron Bancroft and contribution from Smith, David Warner 28 and Sean Mars 33 ensured Australia moved on to 213 by 9 at Stumps having opened its second innings at the start of the day. With a lead of 189 from the first innings, Australia was in complete command despite the three wickets each for spinner Kasav Maharaj and quick bowler Morni Markel and two for Pesar Kagiso Rabada to go with Elgar's surprise strike. Elgar, who had bowled a total of six overs in test in the last two years, got the number one ranked test batsman with the fourth ball he delivered. It strained him enough and hit Smith on the pad in front as he tried to sweep. Smith tried also to survive through a decision review and failed. Australia did lose Warner and Usman Khajas responsibly early at King's Med, but that did not affect the tourist rapid run rate before lunch they were going at over 4 and over in the first session as they build a dominant position in the series opener. Bankrupt half century ended a run of poor from when he went 7 innings without a 50. He got to his half century with a hawk for four of Markel, one of ten four for him before he came down the track to Spinner Maharaj and was stumped just a few minutes before the lunch break. Bancroft and Warner put together a 56 run opening stunt, playing with positive intent before Warner played a mismade pull to substitute fielder Win Mulder of Rabada. Maharaj had Khaja caught off the glove for the first of his three wickets. After Smith went, Mitchell Mertz fell to Rabada via Hashim Amla's 100th catch in Test cricket. Tim Payne was out to Maharaj and Markel collected his three in the final session. Smith's 38 run stunt with Sean Mertz was the next best F after the half century the opener put on. But Australia was still di dictating the pace of the game by the time that light stopped play. Australia had put the test seemingly well out of reach of the home team, which now need to make its highest ever fourth innings score at King's May to win or bet for a long, long time to survive for a draw. Australia is in winning position in Durban after making 351 all out bearing fast and the dismissing South Africa for 162 in its first innings. With left arm pace bowler Mitchell Strack taking 5 wickets by 34 run that gave the Aussies their large first innings lead and the early momentum in the first four test series played between the countries since 1970.